Skin 104 has four different sunscreens to choose from, so I wanted to give you guidance on how they differ and which one is best suited for your skin type. The Skin 104 Hyalurzika Water Fit Sun Serum already has a dedicated video that I did as part of the launch. I will link it above, but want to point out it was sponsored. Not that this affects what I say, just for full disclosure. And we'll look at the Skin 104 Air Fit Sunscreen Light, which is only SPF 30, but PA++++. The Skin 104 Air Fit Sun Cream Plus SPF 50+, PA++++. And the Skin 104 Tone Brightening Tone Up Sunscreen SPF 50+, PA++++, to see which one I like best. Have you tried either of them? If you're new, you're welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. The Madagascar Centella Air Fit Sun Cream claims to block UV rays. It uses inorganic, aka physical filters, while brightening the skin and to be lightweight. Now, it is a common myth that inorganic filters reflect UV rays and organic filters absorb them. They actually don't differ that much, but you'll see that claim often. It has the texture of a cream, much thicker than your average lightweight Korean sunscreen, is white and has no noticeable scent. I found it a little heavy upon application, despite being called light, and it left a white cast even on my pale skin that settled over the first 10 minutes but stayed noticeable around the hairline or in my eyebrows. That is to be expected from inorganic filters and in this case probably gives the brightening effect claim but could be a problem for deeper skin tones. You can avoid it by using less product but that would compromise the low UV protection of SPF 30 even further. The finish is quite dewy and it wears comfortably throughout the day despite being heavier than I usually prefer. I was able to take it up to my eyes without irritation, but when I tried to reapply there was a chance of pilling and the white cast got more noticeable. The filter uses zinc oxide, offering broad spectrum protection on its own. It is known for leaving a white cast, especially when you try to reach high SPFs, which is probably why they opted for SPF 30 here. Then you will find Centella Asiatica extract, as well as its active components added separately, and niacinamide for a long-term brightening effect. As I can't go in depth about the individual ingredients here, I will link a playlist above for more information. Interestingly enough, there aren't any additional hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid or glycerin. From all the inorganic sunscreens I've tried, this one has a better texture than most and less of a stark white cast. The initial creamier texture and dewy finish make it less ideal for oily skin types, while drier ones will need to wear a moisturizer underneath. I personally much prefer formulas with organic filters and a higher SPF. The Madagascar Centella Air Fit Sun Cream Plus is again an inorganic AK physical sunscreen that claims to brighten the skin without leaving a white cast. I am unsure why one is called light and the other is called plus, as both aren't that different in texture. Both are creams rather than the almost fluid like textures I prefer. This one has a slight tint, like a light brown and a strange scent, floral with some spicy undertones, probably from one of the plant oils it contains. What is definitely more in the AirFit Sun Cream Plus compared to the Sun Cream Light is the white cast. When I apply two fingers for my face and neck, you can immediately see that my face appears lighter than it did before and I'm already quite pale. The light brown tint meant that it didn't look too white but a little grayish and I can imagine it being a problem on anyone deeper or warmer in skin tone than I am. It is heavier than I prefer, but would work fine in the colder months. The texture is quite hydrating and wears lovely throughout the day, although reapplication can lead to pilling. It did not sting my eyes and the finish is dewy, but not overboard glowy. For filters you have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, the latter paired with aluminium hydroxide as protective coating. The combination of both explains the higher SPF as well as the increased white cast compared to the light version. As additional skin beneficial ingredients, you have Centella Asiatica extract as well as its active components, then niacinamide and several plant oils that are meant to improve the texture and counteract the drying effect inorganic filters can have. Among these oils is bergamot fruit oil, which isn't the most obvious choice as some citrus oils can with UV exposure cause skin pigmentation. 
The risk for that obviously depends on concentration and formulation, so I personally wouldn't worry, but wanted to point it out. I'm personally not a huge fan, as I did expect, given it is a formula with only inorganic filters. Just like the corresponding skincare line that I have reviewed here, the Skin 104 Tone Brightening Tone Up Sunscreen claims to brighten and tone the skin while offering UVA and UVB protection. This is a tinted sunscreen that looks quite peachy on the website, but actually more of a light, light brown in person and has a lightweight texture with absolutely no scent. I know I repeat that in every second video, but the key when using sunscreen is to use enough of it, which would in this case be six pumps for face and neck. If I do that, the product feels very comfortable on the skin, but looks absolutely hideous. I am quite pale, but as you can see, it makes me look ghostly. I needed a lot of bronzer to be able to wear it outside. Even worse, over the day, the white pigment seemed to settle into my pores and made me look pale and patchy. Not a good look. It looked much better with just one pump for the face, but that won't give you the protection claimed on the bottle. Looks aside, the finish was more on the dewy side and the formula comfortable to wear, not very hydrating, but not drying either. This is a hybrid sunscreen, meaning it combines both organic, aka chemical, and inorganic, aka physical filters. The inorganic filter, titanium dioxide, is probably to blame for the white cast it leaves. For skin beneficial ingredients, you will again find Centella asiatica extract with Madagascar seed added separately, and then niacinamide and tranexamic acid for skin brightening, as well as glycerin for hydration. I actually expected to like this one best, as it's a hybrid rather than a pure inorganic sunscreen and contains tranexamic acid, but I just can't bring myself to wear it. Out of all the sunscreen Skin 104 offers, two are using inorganic, aka physical filters only, one is a hybrid and one uses organic, aka chemical filters exclusively. The Hyalocica Water Fit Sun Serum with the organic filters is my personal favorite, with a lightweight but quite hydrating formula that wears beautiful even though it's more dewy than I like it. The hybrid Tone Brightening Tone Up Sunscreen is the worst. It has an awful white cast and settled into my pores even though the texture is nice, and the two inorganic ones, the Air Fit Sunscreen Light with SPF 30 and Plus with SPF 50, are better than I had expected for inorganic sunscreens, but are heavier in texture and do give a white cast. More subtle in the Air Fit Light and still better than in the Tone Brightening one for the Air Fit Plus. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!